And to avoid a check engine light on this car, for the downstream oxygen sensor, we need these guys. These are spark plug anti fouler's and we're going to thread in the downstream oxygen sensor into this top guy, but we need to drill it out so it can fit in there. And this is definitely, definitely a poor man mod. This is like $4 right here, and it can turn your check engine light off. You don't have to get it tuned, or you don't need a catalytic converter. But if you break the threads on these, and you need to buy a new oxygen sensor when you take them out, and you get a Bosch one, that, or this will not work. It needs to be the original oxygen, sens oxygen sensor. So we're going to take this to the bench, drill it out, and then thread in that O2 sensor, and put the rest of the exhaust on, and it should work perfectly. Okay, so we're going to be drilling this out, and we're, our goal is to make this fit into there. And we're going to be using a half inch drill bit. Now when you do this, try not to hit the threads. most of the way through, just a little bit more. Like 90% of the way there. We got it! Boom. Boom! Check that out. Then you thread this into there. And how this works, this spaces it out from the exhaust and it gets a, somehow it gets a different reading and it tricks the computer into thinking your catalytic converter is working. So this is definitely a poor man mod. It's just two, they're called spark plug anti fouler's and you gotta drill it out with a half inch drill bit and your O2 sensor should fit right in. Put this in your exhaust and bang. But it won't work, at least in ex with my experience, it will not work with a Bosch oxygen sensor. You need your factory oxygen sensor for it to work. So, hope you learned something from that. This is definitely a poor man mod that maybe a lot of you have not seen. That's it. Time to put this in the car.